Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam and I am back with another haul. As you can already tell, I went to two places, Costco. I got a lot of stuff from Costco and then Trader Joe's. So if you guys love haul videos, please subscribe and keep watching. All right, welcome back. So I decided that going forward, I'm probably gonna do these hauls more frequently than I have been in the past. I wanna do them maybe every other week because you guys seem to just love watching them and they are the ones that get the most views. And so, I mean, I get it. I love watching haul videos too. It gives me inspiration on what to buy. So totally understand. And I wanna show you guys what you wanna see. So. With that said, let's go ahead and get started with Costco since they're big items. Let's go through them so I can put them away and then we'll end with Trader Joe's. So let's get started. All right, so first things first is some raspberries. So I went ahead and picked up some raspberries because Honestly, raspberries and all types of berries are my favorite fruits. And although they're not quite in season, I still like to get it from time to time. On that same note, this is already opened, but I just got a box of strawberries as well. All right, and then next up, I've got a big, big bag of spinach or box of spinach. We use spinach so much in our eggs, in our smoothies, green smoothies. So we go through a lot and I like to get the organic baby spinach. I don't know if I've ever bought this and shared this with you guys, but I got some seaweed. So I absolutely love having seaweed as a snack and this organic roasted seaweed snack. I think I've shown various other ones that I've gotten at Trader Joe's, but this is just a big 10 packer that I got from Costco. And yeah, I just love having it as a snack. All right, next up, I've got some plums. So plums is something I get once in a while. They looked really delicious and yeah, I like to have a lot of fruits on hand, like oranges and berries and all that stuff. All right, next I got this big bag of lettuce. Lettuce is also something we use in everything. I like to play around with my salads a lot and add lots of different things to it, like a romaine lettuce Caesar salad, very plain and boring. Other times, I like to really beef it up and add lots and lots of different types of veggies, olives, feta, anything. So I love having lots of lettuce on hand. All right. So so next up, I've got this box of cage-free egg whites, 100% liquid egg whites. And I made sure that when I look at the ingredients, it's just egg whites. Sometimes they'll put fillers in it, so you wanna make sure that it's just pure egg whites. Got a bag of celery. Do I really need to explain why? <laughs> Although I will say that I've been having celery juice pretty, pretty consistently. I do miss here and there when I'm out or you know just didn't have time to juice, but I haven't noticed anything extra besides the video that I made for you guys where I talk about all the benefits. So I'll link that video if you're interested, but I probably won't do a follow up because I haven't noticed anything much else besides those benefits. So I like it. I like having it as a part of my daily routine and it just kind of sets me up for the rest of the day. I'm a really habit based person. So once I set my mind up that I'm gonna do something, every day, then it's what I'm gonna do. So I don't know when I'll stop, maybe never, but that is why I got another bag of celery. All right, next up, I have some vital proteins, collagen peptides. I've talked about this. This is kind of just like my protein powder that's unflavored, I can add to anything. And honestly, it doesn't even have to be a smoothie that I'm adding it to. I sometimes add it to my coffee or just my regular drink. It really mixes well for me at least. So I don't have a problem having it in different forms. This is great for a protein source. I've already talked about this a lot, but you guys can read up on it. All right, next up, I've got this box. That is missing too. I will say that is not me. That's probably my husband that has been taking some of this. But this is Bi. So antioxidant infusion. And what I like about this Bi drink, it was on sale, which is why I grabbed it this time, but otherwise it's a little bit on the pricier side. But what I like about it is that it is sweetened with erythritol, which is a better, more natural sweetener like Stevia. So that is why I like to get it. But again, you know, when you have these types of drinks, just make sure that you're still having enough water. Yes, water can get boring sometimes, you know, I'm guilty of that. 
and so it's nice to mix it up once in a while but still have your recommended amount of water and yeah supplement it sometimes with a little fun drink so that is why i got a big box of this Next up, I've got this avocado oil spray. What I like about this is that it doesn't have any chemical propellants, which the regular oil sprays like Pam has. And so I recently learned about that. And so I have not bought Pam ever since. And this is the only one that I'm buying now. I make sure that there is no added chemicals to it. So just make sure when you do buy those oil spray that it doesn't have any of those added chemicals to it. So this is just avocado oil. And you'll notice the difference is that the stream is just more of a solid stream versus aired out. I don't know if that made any sense, but it's just not as airy like hairspray. It's more of a solid stream of oils. I like using it and at Costco, it's an amazing price. So if you guys have this available at your Costco and you like using it, buy it there instead of anywhere else. All right, next up, I've got this big box of kidney beans. I love adding kidney beans to my chili to have as a protein in any of my meals, especially when it's a plant-based meal. Next up, I've got this big bag of steel cut oats. I love steel cut oats. This is the quick cooking steel cut oats that's ready in seven minutes. I love using this particular kind for my overnight oats because I think the texture is really, really nice and chewy versus a regular old fashioned rolled oats that gets kind of mushy. All right, just a couple more items. This one is a favorite and an oldie. It's RX bars. This one has peanut butter chocolate and chocolate sea salt. So you guys already know the deal with RX bars. There is no BS in it. Uh, just a few ingredients that are listed right in the front of the bar. And that is what I like about my bars. I stopped buying bars that have the long list of ingredients because I want to keep it simple. And so RX bars is a great one. There's an organic one in the bread section of Costco that I sometimes get, but that one has sugar and honey in it. So I try to not get that one very often. This is my go-to. It's very healthy, very delicious. And honestly, I, I make dupes of this all the time. So this is kind of like when I'm feeling lazy. All right, and the last thing I got, and it's probably my favorite and a guilty pleasure of mine, is this shiitake mushroom crisp. Now, doesn't that sound weird? <laughs> I get it, totally weird. But I got this on a whim um, about a month or two ago, and then I didn't see it at Costco, and I was devastated because these are delicious. I think I ate them in my What I Eat in a Day Snow Edition video, and I every time I watch that video, I'm like, oh, I should have bought more bags of it. This time, I bought a couple bags. I'm only showing you guys one, but it's really good ingredients. It's just shiitake mushroom is the first ingredient, which is awesome. Um, there is vegetable oils, and it's not expeller pressed so not the best type of oil that you could have there's also some maltose which isn't the best for you <laughs> now that i'm reading the ingredients it's not the best but there's a few only <laughs> There's spices, onion, garlic, and natural flavor, which who knows what natural flavor is. So that is why I say this is a guilty pleasure, not something you want to have all the time and probably not too much of, but it's so interesting. I love it. It's delicious. So if you guys want to try out a semi-healthy, you know, snack for every once in a while, get this at Costco if you see it. All right, I have all my Costco things kind of scattered around. I'll just keep it like that and just work my way through the Trader Joe's items. So first things first, it's already opened, but a bag of apples because we go through apples like crazy. All right, next up is Shishido peppers. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. I've actually never tried this type of peppers before, but I really want to grill them and kind of just top it on top of salads. And honestly, I add jalapenos to everything. So I'll probably just add it like I do jalapenos. <laughs> so I'm excited to try this. I also got a bag of just baby arugula blend, baby arugula, baby spinach, and baby lettuce. So this is just to, you know, bulk up my salads with the romaine lettuce that I got some garlic naan. These are the smaller ones that I get from the bread section. I know they also have ones in the, in the frozen section, which is also really delicious, but this, I just wanted to use some recipes with it. And yeah, that's a little hint on what's coming up, guys, this month. Small box of mint. Honestly, I don't buy mint very often because usually it's growing in my garden. 
I looked over there because there's my garden. Usually I have them growing in my garden, but it's a little early and they're really, really small right now. So I need to give it some time before I can actually pick them. So grabbed a box of mint. Eggplant is so, so good, especially grilled. So that is primarily why I bought it. I love, love adding this to paninis and I busted out my panini press after so, so long. So I can't wait to grill pieces up and add it to sandwiches. All right, next up, I've got a juice. This is a beet strawberry juice. I kind of like having different kinds of drinks, honestly, on hand because I like to just kind of change it up all the time. This one has organic beet juice, organic strawberry puree, and organic lemon juice. So very, very simple, not a lot of ingredients, just a few, and they're all organic, so I'm excited to try this out. And usually what I do with juices, because even though they are all healthy ingredients, I like to dilute it with sparkling water just because I still don't want all those natural sugars all at once. So that's how I personally like to have it. Another drink because I'm pretty obsessed with drinks, but here is a lemon hibiscus lemonade actually. Yeah, hibiscus tea and lemonade. So this one doesn't have that much sugar added, but again, still, if you have the whole bottle at once, that's still seven grams of sugar, but all the ingredients are solid. There's just organic hibiscus tea, which is just water and organic hibiscus flowers. There's organic lemon juice and organic cane sugar. So even though I don't really like my tea sweetened, this will be okay for once in a while. All right, next up I've got this traditional marinara sauce. A lot of times I like to make my marinara sauce by hand, but once in a while I'll get lazy and wanna just have something. For a hint for this Friday's video is going to go with the naan. So that is all I'm gonna say and you'll just have to use your imagination. All right, I think I show this in every haul, but I am stocking up on just reduced fat or coconut milk. I went into my garage and noticed that I had three of these already there. So I probably need to stop buying them and stockpiling them. <laughs> All right, got a bag of lime. These limes are actually huge. They're very, very lemon sized, but I love having citrus in anything. So I like to have lime and lemon and all that in my fridge at all times. All right, every once in a while, I like to have some croutons on my salad. So that's all this is, it's just garlic and cheese croutons. All right, a couple of fruit leathers. So here is two variations of fruit leather. And I think I talked about this. There's two kinds of fruit leathers at Trader Joe's. One that has a ton of ingredients and the other one is this, which only has apple puree, seedless strawberry puree, and ascorbic acid to keep the freshness. And then this one is a apple puree, apricot puree, and then the ascorbic acid again for the freshness. So only two ingredients. Honestly, because sometimes you just don't wanna make those fruit leathers, they are a easy, easy, easy process. But honestly, when you think about it price-wise, I made that huge, well, not huge, but medium-sized tray of the mango roll-ups, the mango fruit leathers. The, that was two champagne mangoes. The champagne mango was two for $3. And honestly, there was probably about a couple servings in that. So, you know, honestly, it's not the most cost-effective to make it yourself. So these are 69 cents each. So that is why I bought these. Dried baby bananas. I am not sure if I've ever tried this, but I'm a huge, just dried fruit person. And I love freeze dried fruits too, but I just wanna try this out and see if I like it. I got some mozzarella cheese for a recipe. This is fresh mozzarella cheese. And you know, I always say that you should always buy the uh, whole cheese and not the shredded, the pre-shredded ones. I really need to make sure that I do that and not get lazy, because sometimes I will get lazy and buy the pre-shredded bags, but they all have these caking element to it to keep it from sticking together. So I really want to avoid that and start just very, very seriously just buying the real cheese. All right, and the last thing I have is some organic unsweetened coconut chips. I'm not a huge fan of adding coconut shreds to things because I just don't know if I like the texture all the time, especially when I'm baking. I'm okay with adding them to like yogurts and things that are fresh and cookies, like those cookie recipes that were fresh and not baked. But for some reason when I bake coconut, I don't know, I don't really like that flavor, but this, 
like shreds and chips like this, I can snack on. They're fresh and you know not cooked. I don't know why. I just don't like cooked coconut. So whenever someone offers me like a pastry or something that has coconut shreds in it and that's cooked and baked, I'm not a huge fan. I'll eat it. It's just not my favorite. All right, there you guys go. That is my huge, well, it felt huge, <laughs> my huge Costco and Trader Joe's haul. Not too many things from Trader Joe's this time around, but a lot of stuff from Costco, which hopefully you guys enjoy as well as, you know, my Trader Joe's hauls. So if you guys love, love shopping at Trader Joe's and Costco, give this video a thumbs up. Tell me where I should go next because these are honestly the two places that I go to the most. And that's why I share it with you guys because this is my grocery that I'm gonna be using throughout the week. So anyways, if you guys love haul videos, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, live life tastefully balanced.